In this video, I want to improve upon our inventory here. So as you can see, I just picked up the three items. Press I. I want to remove it so these then appear up here in the first three slots without replacing, or sorry, without adding on to what we currently have. So to do that, well, what we're currently doing anyways, when we call add item, we're simply adding on to our grid. And our grid is of the type use. where is it? Uh, there it is, as of the type wrap box. So I want to do some testing here. I'm going to instead grab a normal grid panel. And I will just, uh, actually, let's try with a uniform grid panel. I'm kind of curious. Let's make it a similar size, you know, nothing crazy. We'll just drag it over here to the left, make it a variable, and we'll leave the name for testing. Let's go to graph and grab our uniform grid and search for add child to uniform grid and plug these up and then here we have the row and column so now when I press I you can see we have the empty one over there we pick these two med kits up we have a med kit I pick up the food we now have food so it's all being overlaid and replaced into this one slot so there's like 20 something 23 I think items in this one slot that's bad so what we want to do is we want to keep track of the row and the column so I want it to be five rows of five so I'm going to create some we could yeah let's create some variables here so this is going to be of the type integer and let's give this one a name of current row create another one current column and yeah we can just leave it as that actually and let's plug these in do the column for current column and row for the current row so let's compile and save and we want to increment these when we are done so because I want it to be greater than a sorry let me rephrase that I only want it to be a five by five I want to do a check so if current row is let's do current row plus we'll just do add one so if this is greater than five i didn't realize it would have a uh, branch so if our current row plus one is greater than five then i want to reset the current row to zero Add, or let's do current column. I think there's an increment. Yeah, then I want to increment it. So that's how this is going to kind of work. So we're going to keep going through. We're going to add, well, let's actually just see it. Press I. Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't think we are actually. No, we are not. We are adding to we call it add item. Go through and we are forgetting to add on to current row. So instead of adding one and then checking it, let's just go ahead and do a increment. Like so. And then check if it's greater than five and we reset to zero. So this should fix that. Why do you keep moving over there? Press I, and here we have drawer eight, and then we have kind of a goof up here. I don't know if that's due to the size by chance, so out of curiosity, oops, I want to make this a bit bigger just to see. Press I, okay, so that just kind of spaces them out a little bit differently. So we're going four, four, then three, 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 which seems a little odd. So let's bump this up to a, just a greater than equals, and then check it with five, like so. And we are incrementing like we were supposed to. All right, we have a four by four. 
4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Okay, we have a 4 by 4. Why do we have a 4 by 4? Shouldn't this be 5? Because we're starting out at 0. Let's compare with 6. Okay, so I wonder if it's just for whatever reason it's not, it's just not able to fit. So, does that mean if I shrink this down, it'll scale to it? No, still doing 4. Oh well, I guess we're doing a 4x4 four four because, I don't know, it's getting late and I'm getting tired, so we're going to leave it like so. So we have a 4x4. Four four. So the way this is going to work is, I'm in the wrong one again. Nope. There we go. In our inventory, let's delete, uh, let's just remove these kind of out of the way. We want to fill it initially. So let's give this a variable name of grid. Or we'll do, yeah, grid underscore inventory. We'll just name it the test for the time being until we remove the other one. We want to fill it by default. So let's create a new function. Let's call fill default. And we want to call fill default on the event graph. So we're going to copy all this delete it, and go to fill default, and plug it in. So then we just simply call fill default on the construct, and we don't want to call add item. Instead, we want to call a specific function. Well, let me rephrase that. We want to uh, kind of do the same deal. However, we want to make a little bit of a change to it. So what we're currently doing is we're adding to our current row and current column. So what I want to do is after we call fill default, or uh, better yet, once this is complete, I want to set current row and current column to equal zero. So when it's complete, we reset the current row and current column. So that way any new items we pick up should be filled in this grid. So we have a four by four or four by five. So now I pick up health press I, it goes to this first one. Close it, pick up another one, it goes to the second one. Okay, so we're having an issue here. I feel like I got myself backwards with the rows and columns. Yes, I did. I got myself backwards with the rows and columns. I am a genius. Okay, so current row, column is... Oh, I'm an idiot. Alright, so, we gotta reverse this. So let's delete the current row and current column crap. So let's move the current row and current column. The uh, setting over to here. Like so. Then we check if it's greater than five. If it is, we set the current column to zero and we increment the current row. I think I have that right in my head. I could be wrong on account of it's late and I'm just flat out stupid pretty often. There we have a five by five. Ta-da, let's make it bigger. All right, let's expand it on the, whatever axis that is, the Y I think. All right, let's go even bigger. Why do you keep moving? And there we go, 5x5. Five five. I kind of like the 4x4 four four better, honestly. So the way we're going to do that to fix it, because of how we have it set up, if this is greater than 4, we add another row. So that's how we control the width. So there's our 4x4 four four again. Except now it's actually kind of correct in terms of sizing. So there we go. I pick these two items up. And there we go. I pick the food up. It's now in the third. Perfect. So I want to pick up another one of these, another one of these, and uh, just two more of these. One, two, three, four. Press I. We have it filled. Five, six. We have it there. Seven. And we have it there. And it all works the same. So that should be 40 health and negative something something for 90. Yep. So there we go. So that pretty much takes care of our new, our new inventory grid. So I'm going to delete this old grid underscore inventory and place our grid inventory test 
be in place of it. So let's anchor this to the middle. Reset the location. Let's do a 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Crap, I don't remember what these were actually after. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.25. I mean, I'd say it's pretty close. What are we at here? Okay, do I have this anchored? All right, I guess I'm just going to anchor it this way too. 0 0.5 and 0 0.3. I guess size makes a difference. So let's set up a size of uh, 5, 50 by 600. Let's see if that looks about right size wise that's pretty decent so let's make this match so 550 by 600 so that way this matches compile save and we should have it fit all in there like so and what is this image even for move the inventory above the widget is that why Why are you not showing? Am I hiding you? Alpha visibility is set to hidden. Let's set it to... Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot I changed it. Not hit testable self and children. So this way we can't click it. And there we have it. That is offset a bit. So we're going to want to shrink it a bit. And we might actually be able to just add items to see it visually. So one... Three, four, five. Oops, so I gotta grab, I think this one. There we go. Three, four, five. So we wanna shrink it just a little bit. Let's grab that image. And the size is gonna be roughly. 538, let's do 540, and then our grid, we might be able to leave at 540 as well, and hope it doesn't shrink it too bad. I'm going to leave all those items, look at it, okay, that didn't scale as I thought, so let's set this back. Oops. Set you back to 550 on the grid. All right, we're just going to shrink it up then. Screw it. Drag up like that. Pretty close. Just go a little bit left and it should be fine. And I'd say that's good. Again, not a widget tutorial. All right, so we have our inventory now. We have it set up to be grid-based. So as I go through and I pick up all these items, they line up as they're supposed to. They all work. Great, perfect. So that's going to be all for this video. Uh, let's see, what was it in the next one? Well, actually, I guess this is kind of turning into a little bit of a widget tutorial. But we have our grid. Now I want to switch it over to be stacked. So that way, instead of, you know... Let's say I have a bunch of these like so. I, you know, I go pick them all up. I don't want to have four, five, six, seven slots taken up. I instead want to have one slot, and I wouldn't mind having a little number somewhere indicating, well, we're going to kind of have to, indicating the amount of items that we actually have so like maybe like right in this corner we'll have a number i don't know we'll have to kind of see how it goes so that's going to be what we're going to start on in, in the next video so yeah i'm going to go end it here if you like what i'm doing and you want to help support me you can find a link to my patreon down in the description below where i have a team deathmatch series just for patrons as well as you get early access to nearly all of my videos if you have any questions or anything like that feel free to join my discord that's also linked down in the description and i'll try to help you out so I'll see you in the next video.